What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to get system information out of your computer. Now a lot of you might be thinking go thinking like really dude, like system information, why are you doing such a simple video? Well, the fact of the matter is a lot of times people don't know what they have or if you are just beginning in IT and you're troubleshooting, you want to know how to find out what the system has in it. And so that's why I'm doing it. So for those of you who know how to do this and think it's simple, that's fine. But there, keep in mind, there are people that are just learning this stuff that really don't know. And that's what this video is uh, geared toward. So there are a few ways to do this. The first way to get some basic, simple information, um, if you right click on your taskbar, assuming you're using Windows 11, uh, you can open Task Manager. Or if you're in Windows 10, you can just simply search for it. There we go. And once you're in Task Manager here, you can go right here to Performance. Now, Performance gives you some just basic information like your hardware, like your CPU and your memory and stuff like that. If you click on CPU here, look right over here. It'll tell you what processor you're running. And um, you look down here, it'll give you a, a little bit more information just as far as uh, the speed, stuff like that. It's just basic stuff. Um, that. Uh, you might need, you may not need. Uh, if you look at memory, um, it'll show you right here, upper right, how much memory is in the system. In this system, my personal desktop, I have 128 gigs. A little bit more info down here. Um, it'll tell you how much is being used, how much is available. Now this number is off because, well, you know, Microsoft, tell you the speed of your RAM, stuff like that. And then you can drill down to your hard disks. So like right here is my primary drive. It is an NVMe two terabyte windows reports it as a 1.8 again because of microsoft and um, it'll up here tell you what it is and that is accurate i do have the 990 pro two terabyte and if we look at the other drives in my system i have two eight terabyte drives just for data um, so you can see how big they are here I'll give you the model number here and um, so yeah it's a pretty gives you some pretty basic information here as far as your system and if that's all that you need to know, you know, how much RAM and what processor you're running, then you're done. But if you need a little bit more information, we can drill down a little bit more. So let's go ahead and close that. And we're going to click on start and we're going to type in system information. And that brings up this whole little thing. Might look complicated to some of you. There are parts of this that are complicated to me. Um, a lot of information in here, or I guess I should say some information probably won't even need, probably won't even need to look at. Uh, but over here, if we kind of drill down, let's look at the hardware resources. Not much in here that you'll probably want to take a look at. It'll show things like conflicts and, of course, hardware, I.O. stuff and IRQ. Uh, IRQ is, uh, stands for interrupt request. Uh, some memory information and resources. Uh, so that stuff you probably won't need unless you're doing some hardcore troubleshooting. Components here. This is one of my favorites. Um, you can look at multimedia. It'll tell you what audio and video codecs you're using in the system. CD-ROM. You're probably not going to get anything from here because a lot of people don't use CD-ROM drives anymore. They're kind of obsolete. Uh, your sound stuff. It will go through and tell you uh, about your, your sound information, uh, your microphone. This is the microphone that I use and I'm currently using right now for this video. Uh, different sound stuff. Uh, display. This one's kind of cool because it will tell you what uh, video adapter, GPU that you're using. Uh, you can even look down here and see what resolution that you're running on this display that you are on. We move down to infrared, probably not going to see much there. Um, your input will show like your keyboard uh, stuff and your mouse pointing devices. That That is your mouse. Uh, modem, really shouldn't see anything there because it's 2024 and we don't really use modems in our machines anymore. And uh, network, this one's kind of cool. You look at the adapter, uh, you can go through and uh, get some uh, IP information. It's not going to give your local IP, um, or I'm sorry, your, your ISP's ISP. Uh, for mine, for some reason, shows not available, but it does show your internal stuff. Like the IP, internal IP for this computer, uh, my gateway, stuff like that. You can scroll down and find a little bit more information. And um, 
we can move on to protocol. There's probably information you're not going to be looking for unless you're doing some hardcore troubleshooting. A uh, windsock, you know, just basic information there. Uh, gives you port information on serial ports, parallel ports. Storage, this one is good because it goes back to showing you the drives right here and their capacities and stuff like that. So that is kind of a nice little reference there. Uh, more information on your drives. If you have any SCSI drives in there or IDE, let's hope that you do not have any IDE drives because those are kind of old school. And so forth, printing, USB, uh, different software environment here. It will show you where all your system drivers are, which is kind of cool. You might need that at some point. Running services. Uh, this will tell you all the services running in your system. Hop back to print jobs. I have no print jobs going here. Network connect. So there's a lot of good information here. I like this one too. Startup. This will tell you everything starting when your system starts. Well, that's kind of a nice little reference. Um, but yeah, so system information is a good resource to go to. You even have a nice little search down here. So if there's something specific you're searching for, you can actually search for it here with these different filters. So yeah, just keep in mind system information. Now I will show you one last way. And to me, it's kind of cool. It will generate a nice little report for you. We want to use, um, you can use command prompt um, or you can use the terminal on this. So on Windows 11, if you just right click, uh, you can click terminal here, but we want to run it by admin. Um, or like I said, we can use command prompt to uh, CMD. I know I did CMS, but it found it. Right click, run as administrator. But I'm going to use terminal for this. I'm going to right click terminal as admin. Let's bring this here and see. So this is my current location, which is fine. Um, so the way to do this this is my favorite because it, it generates a nice little report. So you're just going to type msinfo32 space slash report. And then you're going to do a space dot slash. Yeah, dot slash. And then you're going to give it a name. So I'm going to name this Sam's PC. And so once you hit enter, it generates a nice little report for you. And that report will be put in this location right here. So once we let this thing finish generating, we will go to this location and pull that report. And I'll, I'll show you a nice little trick on how to get there too. So it's a little bonus tip for you guys. It does take a minute to generate this report because it has a lot of data to gather and pull from there. So we will let it uh, finish that. And I will show you how to obtain that. Okay, so it looks like it finished it. I actually uh, stopped recording while it did that. It actually only took about 30 seconds or so. So, like I said, it generated this report named Sam PC at this location. Now, a couple things you can do. You can actually open up your file explorer and proceed to this location. But you can actually open file explorer from right here in terminal. All you have to do is type explorer space dot. And that command tells the terminal here to open up your file explorer in this location here. So we've given it that command. We hit enter and it goes ahead and opens up. And as you see, you scroll down. Here's your report. Now you can open up this by just right clicking and just like editing with Notepad++. Let me bring it back over here. And you got a nice little report in a text format here that you can save and just keep. Take it on the road with you. Do whatever you have to do. But anyway, guys, that is three different ways to find system information. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and click that thumbs up. Any comments, leave me some comments and consider subscribing for future content. Thanks, guys.